Hey, fellow gliders, welcome back. Today, we're gonna take a look at a brand new component in Glide Pages, and that is the custom collection component. So the custom collection, just like all of the other collections here, will let you display a list of items, but what's special about it is that you get to completely configure what each line of that collection looks like. So what's the benefit of using a custom collection over any of the other collections? Well, it lets you have more interactivity per line item within that collection. For example, if I were to simply just choose a list style collection here, I can point it to any item, let's say my uh, list of line items here. And within this list, I could certainly display just a list of items along with, you know, maybe the date purchased and oh, I don't know, the category that it belongs to, something like this. Now, the only interactivity that you get per line item is the action, right? So maybe I wanna add in some sort of interactive button here that when they press it, updates the item, right? I could add an item action here with a set column action and say like, you know, update, and it's gonna update the date with like the current date and time, right? When I push the button and boom, it updates it, right? So yes, this functionality, this is like the only interactivity that you get on a single line item. But what if you want more than just button presses, right? And what if you want to have a different layout to this line item altogether? Maybe you want images in different areas or you wanna have a, them to select something rather than just a button press, right? So now you're able to do that with this custom collection. All right, let's take a look. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a custom collection. And you see that it almost looks like a container, right? So I have this container and then I have the different components within that container. And so the difference here is that in a list, right, the normal list collection, right, I have, um, I can select my source and then the different fields like the name um, are just within this items data. So I have to just, you know, I, I'm limited to the layout of what items I'm able to display in that list right? But with this custom collection, I can display this data however I want in whichever layout I want. Maybe I want to have the name on top followed by an image, right? I can add in an image directly underneath, right? And now I have like the name and then the image. Now, obviously this layout is kind of meh, but you get the idea. I can lay out, right? And just like if I were to add in a new user here, Right, so here we have this layout. If you scroll down, we should see the new user, right? So again, it works just like any other collection, except you get to determine the layout of that collection, of, that, of each line item. Um, and what's nice is that just like a container, you can select the, how many columns there are, right? So if I want things side by side, I can choose that. I can do like a one by three, let's say, and I can still put the photo to the left if I want to, and then a name to the right, right? Um, you can do small images and so forth, right? So you get the idea. Okay, so before, if I wanted to update an item here, right, I would have to add an action. But now I can actually have them update this item by simply typing something in or simply choosing something. Because I'm not limited to just a button. I can choose any of these components on this right hand side, right? So maybe I want them to, if I want them to upload a new image right here, right? On the right hand side here, I can add in an image picker. All right, I can have them choose their photo right from here, right? Or clear their photo right from there. Have them choose a new photo. All right, and you see that when it updates, it updates it live right here. Now this is a silly example, but you get the idea. So I can, you can make it even more interactive for each of the four each components. Okay, so in this use case, I have a list of line items. So I'm gonna trash these. Add a new custom collection. All right, so in this case, I wanna have this overview of all of the purchases here that I'm making. I wanna be able to categorize these things without having to dive into each line item to customize it. All right, so I can go to the categorize section, right? And for this custom collection, I'm gonna point it to my list of line items, okay? 
And now I just have to decide how I want this to be laid out. So maybe I want to have the line item on one side and then like their categorization on the right hand side. So maybe let's choose a one to one layout. This text on the left hand side is going to be what the actual item is, right? And then on the right hand side, I can select um, what fields I want them to update. So maybe I want them to update the category. So to do that, I can select a choice component. Right? So I'm going to write to the category, right? And for the source, it's going to be my list of categories like that. Right. So here for each line item, they can now select the category that it belongs to. What's cool is that you can filter this custom collection just like you could before. So maybe I'm making this like a to do where if the category is empty, then it's going to show up. Right. So all I have to do is go to my options and add a filter to where category is empty. Right. So these are all of the line items that I haven't yet categorized. Right. And if you want to, you can do more than maybe I'm doing more than just category. Maybe I'm also selecting uh, what division it belongs to. Right. So my source will be the types of divisions, the values and display. Right. And I may want to make sure that um, I'm filtering this collection to where category is empty or division is empty if it's one or the other right so here I can see that the category is completed but not the division so I can select the division and once I do then this line item should be gone there we go so one of the main benefits of using the custom collection is that you're there's less clicks for your users right it's more interactive and it lets you define the layout that you want for each of your line items to make that user experience better. So this is just one idea as to how you can use the custom collection in your app. Feel free to leave a comment below with your ideas. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me at Twitter at rpetito or in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.